Hi again. It's pack up day today and uh, we're migrating from the autumn pastures to the first stop on the winter migration tomorrow. Uh, we're going to start out at 3 o'clock in the morning with uh, finishing packing and getting moving. So I may not get to film anything then, so I wanted to show you guys the process of, of packing a little bit. We've, uh, we've been packing the entire day. The oxen are behind me with their saddles on, getting ready to move out. The animals are grazing one last time. And basically all we've been doing today is packing our stuff. You'll see that I'm in Mongolian traditional clothing right now. That thing, what I'm wearing is called a, a del in Mongolian, del. Um, and the reason I'm wearing that is not because I want to be one of those douchebags that has to blend in with the local culture even though he's not from the local culture. Like those people you see at Machu Picchu in Peru wearing clothes made out of alpaca wool while the rest of the local people are wearing Yankee hats and, uh, and blue jeans. Um, I'm wearing it because it's really cold today. It's like minus 20 Celsius, which is around zero Fahrenheit. So it's, it's really cold and this thing is like wearing a house on your body. So I'm really warm right now. But um, I'll show you what we're doing right now. Or, or I'm standing here talking like a jerk while other people are working. But uh, Badrak and Bimba are loading the saddlebags that we'll be using on the oxen. Some of them are leather saddlebags, like these ones over here. And you'll see the poles for our gear right there. All of our clothing and stuff are in those two saddle bags. They're about a meter wide. One goes on one side of the saddle, one goes on the other. Here are two wooden crates that have some of the more f fragile stuff in them, like cameras and printers and laptops, and all of my research supplies are in there. So, um, so they're all packed really well. The felt and the canvas for our gear is all laying out on this uh, on this fence here. The reason for that is that, as you can see, there's ice all over it. We want to give it a chance to to dry a little bit before we wrap it up. But all of that stuff will be going on these three oxen plus one other tomorrow morning when we move out. And all I could basically do to help in this process is carry stuff. I carry crap around, that's basically it, because I don't know what the hell I'm doing when it comes to loading this stuff. Now the people here are experts, they do this three or four times a year at least, sometimes more. This is the most long distance migration that they take, and um, they're experts at loading oxen. I'm not. <laughs> um, and what they're, the way they do it, it's actually really interesting, is um, there's a specific way you need to load the, the bags and the boxes. You can't just throw a bunch of crap in the boxes and uh, and throw it on the ox's back and hope that, okay, it's just going to carry it wherever I want to take it. You can't do that. Everything has to be even. So, and we don't have any scales or anything like that to tell that it's even. But um, Bimba and his son were loading our stuff this morning. We carried it over and packed it and they put it in those crates and they know exactly what to do in terms of how to make each one of those even so that they're easy for the oxen to carry. We also split the gear poles into two different groups. One goes on one side of the ox, one goes on the other side. And here's what the gear materials look like when they're broken down. So there's the roof ring with the hole for the smokestack and the door. Here are three collapsible beds that we're carrying. And here is another gear. One of uh, Bimba's family members uh, lived in here. And this is all of her stuff. And here's the felt and the chimney. And here are the walls that are collapsed and the poles for that gear. There's some more felt for the walls in these two packages that are going to go on an ox. And here's all of um, 
all of their stuff as well that's going to be loaded and you'll notice that their gear is still up right now and the reason that it's still up is because we still need a place to stay tonight until three o'clock in the morning and bimba's wife is inside uh cooking up a storm right now because the idea is you make all of all of the food that you're going to take on the migration beforehand so you just kind of unpack it and eat it so you're not taking all of the stuff all out, out of the the saddlebags and the the crates that you packed it into and then having to repack it every morning when you start out. So we'll, we won't be doing hardly any cooking at all for the next well, five or six days at least. And so she's in there making everything that we were going to eat for the next few days. So the next update is going to be move out. I'll be on a uh, on horseback. This camera will be on my chest and you'll be seeing everything that I see as we start the migration. See you then.